reaction after the game, before two victory? Well, obviously very happy to get the win. And um, up until the last 10 minutes, I thought we, we played really well. It's disappointing again to still continue to give up late goals. And But I think at this point in time, you know, we've played so many games from a Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday. We go to Portland Wednesday, again on the road. Um, you know, we have to find a way to get some rest. And I think, you know, you saw a little bit of how things didn't hold together once we took Morgan and uh, Denise out of midfield there for us. But, uh, but I love the response to get the fourth goal uh, after they pulled it back. So uh, again, at this point, like I told the players, I said, you know, it's just right now getting getting the wins. That's I mean, it's we're, I'm disappointed that we're still conceding goals, but at least we're creating a lot of chances and and we got the three points and that's you know puts us ahead of them now and, and that was uh, huge for us coming in. So I'm 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 really pleased with it, things overall. Speaking of the sport, um, Kay's been at the heart of that. Words left to I think I'm running out of uh, out of words to use for Kay. You know, I mean, she's just been phenomenal, and I, I don't know how else to put it. I think she's just so confident right now, and you know, I think if she continues this kind of a trek, um, I, I don't see how she doesn't get looks. You know, down the road, um, which is everybody's dream to get those looks. But I think right now her focus, she's handled it well. Her focus is just helping us win games and creating chances and. And she's done that consistently. Two great goals again, uh, you know, by her tonight. So, um, yeah, real, real pleased with with Kay. I mean, again, as, as well as all of them. I think offensively, we were really good tonight. Mark Corley, she didn't have a goal. Yeah, so the two games, how have you seen her kind of? Well, I think I think with Carly, it's kind of what I said after the Boston game. Just having her on the field, whether she has an A plus performance or she doesn't, just her presence, I think, gives our team confidence. And I think obviously it's makes other teams worry, you know, and I think um, Carly found the ball in a lot of space uh, tonight, and, um, you know, she's always going to create chances for you as a team, and she's always going to um, create opportunities for other players, and I thought she did that tonight. I don't, again, like I said, I, I think she would probably tell you that both Boston and this game wasn't by far her best games, but she creates so much for us even with that kind of a performance, and I think right now she's just feeling her way in and settling in with all of our team. Uh, the one thing I did like at the end is seeing her getting the group organized after we gave up the second goal. You know, she's back there trying to get that back line and that midfield organized uh, to make sure we don't give away the next one. And that's what we need from her leadership as well. And like I said, I think um, uh, it, it, obviously we're, we're better with her on the field than without. On her assist to Janine, it looked like Carly didn't even look up, and she just happened to know Janine was there. Did you see that that whole thing come to fruition? And yeah, I think she's really good. She did it a couple of times in the second half. If you remember, a couple of balls that got played into her, and just kind of that blind look. She's looking that way, and the ball comes, and just a little flick off to the side. But she's fully aware of where those players are. You know, you don't see that. You don't see her giving that ball away. Um, you know, without knowing that it's there. And I think that just brings some of that creativity that she has and some of that experience that she sees things at another level. You know, I think I've always said this too about Andressa. I think she's one of our players that just sees things at a different level than most of our players. And I think Connie's like that as well in midfield. So uh, it was great. Janine's, you know, been on form in the Olympics and she's been good the three games back with us. So it was great to see her get a goal and was happy for Pollyanna to get her first goal in the league. Um, tonight she was having a little bit of a hamstring issue. So we pulled her out to make sure she's ready to go. Um, Wednesday up in Portland, but uh, uh, yeah, really, really uh, pleased with it. Coach, can talk about the play of Denise also. She was, like, she was all over the field tonight. Denise, I said this really through the second half of the season. I've, I have felt like Denise has been our most valuable player. You know, I just think she's uh, she's an engine that doesn't stop. And you're right, she is all she's the energizer bunny. You know, she's all over. She probably wouldn't even know who that was if I said that to her. Uh, she wouldn't know that commercial, but uh, showing some age here. <clears throat> but she is so good, and um, she really plays well off of Morgan Bryan and Andressa because they all three play a lot alike. Um, but I, the thing I love about Denise the most is she's one of the smaller players, but she's got a lot of tenacity and a lot of fight. She's not afraid to go in on, on tackles and, and win headers and mix it up in there. But um, she's been fantastic for us all season. When the Olympians were gone, I felt like she was really the kind of the glue that kept things together for us especially in midfield. So I, for my money, I would say as well as 
Kay's doing. She's now making that argument to be our most valuable player as well. But I think <clears throat> Denise is right there in that consideration. Those, you know, I think she's been great for us all season. Thank you. It looked like a concerted effort to go after Tony Presley until she was subbed out from the back. Was that by design? Or yeah, that yeah, I think so. Time? If you notice, we really played Janine and Kay very wide today for that reason. We thought we could get after Levin and get after Presley a little bit. I just don't think that's Presley's comfort position. I know she played their son at Florida State in college, but, you know, you didn't see her really getting up and down the line like Levin was trying to. And I just felt like we could, we could really get in around those two. And I thought we were very successful at it. I mean, we got around the corner on both of them a lot. Um, so I thought Janine and, and Kay did, did great in taking advantage of that. The only problem it causes you at time in the first half, we were so split, you know, sometimes we didn't have players filling the gap in the middle of the field. But when we could get it out wide, we could get around them quite a bit, which is the way we got the first goal, you know, from coming back across to Janine. So, um, yeah, I think it was something we thought we could exploit. When you have the Olympians on the field and you see the difference in the level, level of play, is there a moment where you think about what could have been? Yeah, you do. I mean, you go back and you look at it and you say, what if? And, you know, but it's, you know, unfortunately in this business, it's, you know, if we win, I'm a great coach. If we lose, I don't know how to coach my way out of a paper sack. So it's just, that's the nature of the business that we're in. And um, so it, it's easy to look back, but I'll probably reflect on it more at the end of the season. Um, but definitely, you can. I think everybody can see the difference when we have all those players here. So the exciting thing for me is finishing this as strong as we can and seeing, hopefully now the fans see what product we can put on the field. And I think some of these young players are really starting to come around, like Janine Becky and, and Denise has been a great addition. I think Rachel, I think even though Kay's in her third year, she's really starting to turn the corner. So I think the... I think we're on the upper climb, you know, so I'm really excited about the remainder of this season and moving into next year.